Jimmy Coe's 24-7 back in that ass. Back up in this bitch. This bitch. I'm the same team per use. Ja, Luca, T-Mac, AI. Go up against Nash, Penny. I don't even remember this one. Oh, Jimmy Butler and... Uh, who was the last one? Jimmy Butler... And I don't remember. We're just gonna have to wait. We're just gonna have to fucking wait and see, okay? <laughs> Your parents. You're just gonna have to fucking wait and see, okay? Who I look like? You want me to jump in the fucking pot and make it cook any faster, Jimmy? Jeez, you'll eat. You ate yesterday. <laughs> That's what the, well, I was. You ate yesterday. I played this one at 35. Alright, see who we see the teams here. I'm the ringers or the ballers. I'm the black and white square. They're the red and white square. Shit. New Jeter documentary tomorrow night. We got that shit ready to DVR. That's gonna be the shit. Fucking Luke. Fucking. G. Lucas the man, dude. Ooh, I did use Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard. If I remember correctly, I had a hell of a fucking game, too. Man. Sometimes you, like, black out memories and block them out and shit. I had, like, I had... It's a fly, like, I can remember that, like, fucked up situation I was in when I was, like, 18. No, I was 19. Was I 19? I don't know how that was. Eight, I think I was 18. Yes, yeah, 18. Just graduated high school. Look at Steve Nash with a finger roll. So I'm up at SVC, just graduated high school. My first fucking. It's like October, my first semester. I meet this dude from fucking New York City. He fucking is a walking, talking drug machine. He fucking. He's got everything. I wasn't really. You know, I'm not really into drugs. Like. If you know me, like, I'll just smoke some cheese, but, like, this dude, fucking, he got everything. So he had me trying all kinds of drugs. I didn't do any H or fucking meth or anything or crack, but I got into all the other shit. But, like, not into it. I just gave it a whirl. I'm not going to lie. Let's see what's going on. This, this is, what is this, Nazi Germany? What do we mean, Nazi Germany? Oh, Kawhi the Steel. What is this, Nazi Germany? Can't fucking try anything. Down in the Nash. So, anyways, me and this guy from New York City, he he knows his, uh, you know, this kid fucking knows everybody. Because he's like 23 or 24. He, and this motherfucker's like a grown ass man. See me just bash fucking Penny in the face with that last pass? I was like, boop, right off his fucking head. You see that shit? Jimmy Butler. So, anyways, he knows his, I know everybody. We devise a plan. If he can get his hands on some blow, I'll move it. Just like it's weed, I thought. Oh, it's the same thing I was thinking. I can get rid of that. I was thinking, no problem. So, our plan was that it was like, remember, it was the fall of the first semester. So, we planned we're going to go one Saturday. We're going to have Ben drive us down to fucking New York City to cop some blow in Spanish Harlem. Ben doesn't know exactly where we're going. I just told him my buddy knows. Oh, I thought that was money. Uh, my buddy knows. We'll be all right. So Ben's like, fuck it. We'll go. And then the night before we fucking go, this kid in town dies in a car accident. Like, And I'm just barely learning about the, like what went on, why that happened. And, like, it's over chicks. Like, it happens, man. Like, young kids. With, not young kids. But like kid, high school kids with chicks, dude. Something. Fucking Luca would swish. You know that shit. Rattled at home. But anyway, so this kid passed away like late late night, early morning of the day me and Ben and fucking this dude from Queens is going to go grab this fucking blow. Green light spec. So we go anyways. Because I said, we got to go. We got to go. I was all pumped up. All we got to get some cheddar, I thought. I'm like, I'm meeting people, getting money off people. We're going to get investors. None of them, nobody gave me any dough, but this dude had dough. 
He had some kind of whatever, some I don't know what the fuck he had, but he had to go to check cash the place down there to cash it. Another green light special, Luca seven seven tied it up. You guys thought I was losing this time. You're like this is fucking Jimmy, no cones. But anyways, so we we go into our seat. Cat he goes cash his check. I think we might have went on a Sunday. Well, I said we went on a Sunday. I don't know why. But I can't remember if it was a Saturday or Sunday. Fuck it. So I just know what happened the night before was bad, and the kid passed away in a car accident. It was shit was not cool. Okay, still not cool. Like, the family's still fucking upset, and mad. I would be too. Like, it's a sad situation, but like. So, anyways, we go down there. We, we fucking my boy does his thing. We go the, we go all the way to fucking Spanish Harlem, 181st Street. There's this fucking huge park. We decide we're gonna park there. My boys are run down the street, and meet up with his fucking boys. We didn't know it wasn't like buying trees. My another green light special, Luca, fucking raining threes. Woo! We didn't know it wasn't like copping trees, so we didn't understand. That my buddy just ran into a building, spoke Spanish to some Dominican people, and fucking grabbed like. I think he got three quarters of a zip for 400 bucks. No, it was a little over a half. It was like five eighths for 400 bucks. So they were like giving this shit away, dude. And this is the deal. I had to hold the shit on the way home, or else he was gonna do it, and we couldn't have him do any until we got back, cause I just knew how the guy was, and he was high on shit. Cause I seen him do drugs before. I've already been to. I've already. I've already been to New York City a couple of times with him before that just to fucking hang out and see what it was all about. No, ah, oh, Luca with another one. Just we just something down there fucked around and like, you know, saw what, what was there to see and shit. And I thought it was cool. I thought we were going to be all right. So, but remember, this is the first time. This is my first fucking criminal venture of fucking trying some blow. So we're going to, we get it. It's in my pocket. We're headed out. We take the highway or the fucking bridge. We cross the bridge. All of a sudden, my boy's like, "Yo, let me get some of that." I was like, talking. I knew what he was talking about. I just wanted to play it off. You know, give me some of my. Oh, Jimmy Butler with a fucking alley oop jam. The fuck you know about that, Dante? Huh? Shout out to my boy Lozan. I'm gonna take your chips. Get get 2K, man. I'll take your chips. We'll get the games on video. So it's all about trying to get this fucking ball of holic shit. It's the Ballaholics channel, motherfucker. Jimmy Cow. So anyways, we're across the bridge. He wants his shit now. So I give it to him after being aggravated for fucking five minutes straight about it. And I'm telling you, not five minutes after him taking that shit back from me, we get pulled over by a fucking New York State trooper. Whoop, 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 whoop. They pull up behind us. There was two of them. That's when we knew it wasn't good. So, I fucking, he pulled, he comes to my side. He says, fuck the driver's side. I'm going to the passenger's side. Because he looks like a motherfucking G, they said themselves. No, I think that's what they do in that state. I think that's what they do in New York. <laughs> but anyways, so he fucking, he pulls me out. He feels a bowl, a weed bowl in my pocket. Pulls it out. What's this? And he, Walkie talkies, we follow him, we found some whatever the fuck cannabis or smoking devices or something. And all of a sudden, they're like, We're bringing you guys in and we're gonna search the car. We don't think you came down here just to get a couple dime bags of weed because they found weed in my pocket too, a couple dime bags. So we got weed too, of course. I had to trust New York City weed. Are you kidding me? They had the fucking best shit around. This is back then though. This is 1999. You know what I'm saying? This is fucking years ago. So anyways, <laughs> they fucking, they take us to the station. And they they keep saying we got more shit than what we're saying. So they're going to strip search us. They take us one by one in, these fuck, in the bathroom and in, in the stall. And they strip me down, even my socks. And they made me bend over and cough. And I looked at them like, you sure you want to see my asshole? Like, I didn't say that, but I looked at them like, are you sure you want to see my asshole? I will give you the total terror if you want it. He said, please bend over and cough. I was like, all right. Showed him my fucking total. 
And he's like, yep, you're good. <laughs> I was like, you're fucking right, I'm good. I got an ass shouter at that point, you know what I'm saying? It's been hot all day, I've been sitting all day. I ended up in a shower, you know what I mean? Like, Spanish T Mac, 1917, here we fucking go. <clears throat> so you fucking. Finally, they do me, they do Ben, they pull my boy out. He fucking. They find the, the blow on his sock. The last fucking place they look besides making him cough. Maybe they made him cough and shit first. That would have been funny if they didn't see his asshole, too. But, anyways, they saw, they got the shit, they come out. The guy tests it two seconds and, oh, yeah, it's real. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely the shit. My buddy's like, yeah, you're probably back there doing it. <laughs> he was all squirmy and shit because he was doing, did a line or two before the cops got him. Remember, I told you he took it back from me. He was all like squirming around. I'm like, dude, you need to fucking chill the fuck out. They knew something was up in my the way my buddy was moving around in the back seat. So, anyways, they fucking booked my boy for possession of cocaine. They fucking got me and my boy, me and Ben, for fucking possession of marijuana. A misdemeanor. And we gotta let, we go with a ticket. So, they took him to fucking prison or jail, wherever the fuck he went. And the two of us left. They even they even brought in a fucking they brought a guy they call this guy he comes down this big black fucking dude comes down. He had to take apart Ben's car to see if he had drugs hidden in it because they didn't believe we would just drive down for fucking I think it was like five eighths of coke. He's like I think you guys got a tape to the car somewhere. Just tell us you know he's giving us the fucking green light special again with Luca. 21, 21. He's trying to give us the fucking, you know, the third degree. Well, we don't have any, sir. Rip them apart if you want. They did. They took it apart and put it back together quick. It was like a fucking NASCAR team. They done that shit by foul. <laughs> so, anyways, my buddy's asking all kinds of questions. What's the most he's ever found? <laughs> That's how my buddy talks. He's all fucked up. The fucking precinct. He's asking for a beer and a cigarette. Oh, Kawhi Leonard with a fucking reverse jam. Dude. Uh, uh. So anyways, we're driving back and my boy goes, my boy Ben goes, dude, I, they didn't find that joint in my engine, I don't think. I was like, joint in your engine? He goes, yeah, I always keep an emergency joint in my engine. So he gets the joint out. We spark up the joint. We're fucking smoking that joint, laughing about what happened. We say we're never fucking with cocaine again in our life, and we haven't. You know what I'm saying? We don't fuck with that shit. We learned our lesson from that day. Never again, man. And that was fucking 1999. That was a long time. It was 23 years ago. Green light special. So anyways, we smoked that joint, and like four chicks drive by flying, beeping the horn ass. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, their titties show their, their titties. Like ben freaked the fuck out like he'd never seen tits before. Floored it like it was fuck. It was fast and the furious, dude. We get pulled over again by some more New York State troopers. They smell the reefer, so they go through the procedure again. They pull us out of the car. Then the guy calls in and says, oh, yeah, we just pulled them over. They're all set. They let us go, and we just got up blazing. So we got lucky again. So we went home. We had got had, we got rain, so we had to go back down there a couple weeks later. We had to leave here at like fucking three in the morning. I remember being like, I remember telling my mother I had to go to school early that day. <laughs> I, I didn't tell my mom shit. I was like, my mom didn't find out until like five years ago that this all this happened. So we went down to court and had like a real courtroom, like the real chairs. Like it was like old school. It was in Terrytown, New York just outside New York City so we fucking that we sit down and they just give us a fucking fine like 200 hours I'm loving it I thought I was gonna get in a lot of trouble if I would have had to do like something to go down there you know any any kind of like service or something my mom would have known I would have been fucked bro she's like okay oh my god you're fucking dead I'm calling your dad you're fucking dead that's what she would have said she said, if she would have been like, I'm calling dead, I would have been fucked. Every time she said that, I knew it was over. So I had to make sure that was like the words that she does not say. Is, Never call dad. That was the key. Dad can't be called. Look at fucking Nash to the fucking left. So anyways, 
we, I, I pay my fine. I'm being a dickhead that day. He said, we ain't got no weed. I'm fucking pissed. I'm being a little fucking dickhead to bed. He asked me to borrow the money to pay his fine. I said, nah, like a fucking dickhead. I feel bad about that, but I was a little fucking kid. I was 18 years old. I was a little fucking cocksucker. So fucking anyways. Fucking Ben asked me to borrow the money. I said, no. Comes to be five, six years later. He doesn't even pay the fine. They say he did. They sent him a receipt in the mail. It was the fucking best. He loved it. He's like, oh, man, I've been sweating that. Like, I was like, you've been driving all this time in New York, going to the mall and shit every week. I was going to the mall every other weekend, at least. Because that's what you did back then. You went to the mall. Like, that was the thing to do. Checks fucking everywhere. All shapes and colors and sizes, dude. Checks fucking titties. Fuck, I mean, rumps. Titties, fucking everything at the mall is the fucking greatest. It was like a show of who had the hottest bitch. And you'd bring her to the mall and show her off like, yeah, this is my bitch. Sometimes if he was a man, he had two bitches. Like, I mean, two tree bitches. That was the object. 3229, look at this fucking making it rain. I think he had 20 points out of the 35. Boo. Oh, I thought he drilled that. So that's why I don't do cocaine. Or any other drug. Because I, God taught me that first time. I got my get out of jail free card. The very first time I did it. And I know again. I didn't do it. I mean like you know. Fucking around. Gonna suck, get an enterprising of it. But fuck that. So that's my story. Wasn't a bad game. Oh. Ja fucking ends it. My hammer jam. So that's why I say. Just say no. The drugs. Luca did have 20. He was fucking airing it out, man. I don't know how many threes he hit, though. We got fucking Yankees match rematch tonight. We lost the first one. Lost big time last night. Sucks. Hate losing. It's like when the Yankees lose, it sucks. All right, motherfuckers. Enjoy the game tonight. It's going to be good. It's going to be on ESPN, I believe. I believe so. Then Toronto right, the captain, baby. Here we go. Jimmy Coles, 24-7, and I'm at.